seven, I'm saying. Little city by the water, you know what I'm saying? Little California. Stand up. We want it all. So, so when you say when you came from song, I'm talking about like way back, like dumb, did dumb, dumb, to come to who you are now. Like, how do you feel like you've grown as an artist lyrically? I mean, cause you know that that side of the business. That's when you was like on your peak, like coming up, and then y'all disappeared for a while, and then you came back. Like the funny part about that is like when we was doing that music for that for that grinding to sell album was like. We still, like, we had, like, our own type of style, but at the same time, we, like, try to cater to what, you know what I'm saying, the people wanted at the time. So when you listen to that album, it's, like, it's hyphy beats on there, but when you listen to the lyrical content, like, niggas on there is really gassing, you feel me? Like, niggas is really bringing, even though it's, like, a hyphy album. That's why I say, like, we got slept on, like, that was, like... The best, probably the best album that could drop in the Bay Area, and that shit got slept on. Like, and as far as like a hyphy album, like not only was that like one of the best hyphy albums, but like lyrically, like nigga, that was one of the best albums out there. Cause like I really think we had like a like a, you know what I'm saying a combination. We had that one two punch. Like you listen to some nigga shit, like they had some cool hyphy beats, but them niggas really weren't saying shit. Or you would have a few niggas that was gassing, and they beats was trash as a motherfucker. But nigga, we had nigga dope beats, and we had niggas coming on there with dope hooks. And niggas is bringing dope verses. Niggas had dope songs on that whole shit. You feel me? So as far as that, um, I don't know, man. Like as far as as far as the how we done grown or how I done grown, it's like you know what I'm saying. The life experiences for me, that's what speak the most. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying, like. Every year, every year, you feel me, a, a nigga grow, got something new to say, something new to bring to the table, something new to throw into the music, you feel me? So, like, so basically that's how the sound grows, you feel me? The sound, my sound grows with me as me growing as a person, you feel me? So, you can listen to some of the shit that I had on that album, you know what I'm saying? And I'm kicking the same shit that I'm kicking now, but, you feel me? I might be just kicking a little bit more or have another twist or another view on, you know what I'm saying, how I'm doing shit then. How how it was on that album, you feel me? Okay. I read stuff from you saying this year you're gonna be you're gonna drop one of the greatest albums that came out the Bay Area out of Leo. And then you said later on, probably during the summer you're gonna drop another. I ain't gonna quote you word for word, but you said later on this summer you're gonna drop an album that came best out of the Bay Area. What made you say stuff like that? Do you feel that much confident in yourself? And yeah, cause like I said, with the Diary of a Superhero, that's like my reintroduction. You feel me? Like basically like that's like the warning shot. Like I got good enough songs in there for niggas to like like I I I wrote I did the album in a way to where I can promote it and I can get people that's gonna back it, you know what I'm saying, and get my fan base. But as far as the next project I'm dropping after that, that shit gonna be like some like hardcore like motherfucking like nigga, this shit dope. It's gonna be great. Like I already got the whole like Already got the whole beat lineup, up, you feel me? Already got all the ideas for the songs. I got like half of the hooks down, you feel me? And that shit gonna be dope. Where like, are you going? What's gonna be the difference between the Diary of a Superhero and then the next project? What's the next gonna project is gonna be called Pro Publicity Stunt. Okay, I see. You feel me? Okay. So like all the marketing and promotion for the Publicity Stunt is gonna be some more crazy shit. Because okay. the shit called Publicity Stunt, you feel me? If you take it that serious, the joke on you, you feel me? The shit called Publicity Stunt. But at the same time, the music gonna be dope. Like, the, the music gonna be dope. The shit I got on there, that shit gonna be dope. I already got all of, like, everything, I got all the beats. And I've been had the beats for a while. So, like, these are songs that I haven't been thinking about for a minute. So, when I lay them down, I'm already gonna know how they, I want them to sound. Where I'm trying to take it, you feel me? And, like, nigga, that's gonna be, like... That's gonna be my push that I'm gonna try to take that album to the like the next level. You feel me? Like how you know what I'm saying Drake had the comeback season and then he dropped the So Far Gone. That that publicity stunt gonna be my like so so far gone. You feel me? That shit gonna be dope. What you gonna plan on going? Do you want to get signed to a major label? Do you want to do independent? What do you want to go with this music? Um, the music. <sighs> Tell the truth, man. Like, like Axe J. Or the next time you do an interview with anybody from Rap Shack, like, 
I'm not concerned about the money. Like, I don't, I don't care about the money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Money ain't make anybody life easier, but at this point, it's like, for me, it's never about the money. I just want to make the good music. I just want niggas to be like, that nigga dope, that nigga really make good music, you feel me? And I'm going to be cool with that, because I know if I can... I know if I can get people to say that nigga music dope, it's worth listening to, the money gonna come, you feel me? Like, all that shit gonna come, you feel me? I'm not even tripping off that shit. That shit is gonna come regardless, you feel me? As long as I can, nigga, as long as I'm able to get in the lab and I can afford to buy the production I wanna buy, get the beats I wanna get, I'm gonna make dope songs, you feel me? And that's gonna be it, you feel me? So, if I get signed to a major, I mean, that is, that's that's what it'd be for me. I try to, nigga, I do my best to make that situation work. But if I end up just staying as an independent, I mean, that's cool too. Because if you look at the rap game now, like, majors, it's like, it's only so much a major can really do for you. You got niggas like Currency. You got niggas like Wiz Khalifa. Niggas selling like 70000 on iTunes. Mm -hmm. Nigga with no deal. You feel me? And that's just nigga, and that nigga was signed to his, to a major label for like one year, you feel me? And a little bit of promotion they gave him, that nigga got an underground following and blew up, you feel me? So like, and nigga, it's possible to be a, a independent artist and really take it to the next level and really have a fan base that fuck with you regardless, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's possible. So I'm, I'm working on that right now. It's like trying to step into the shoes of a nigga that's just like a really, really independent artist, you feel me? And nigga, if I stay independent artist, I'm cool with that. I ain't tripping. You feel me? You got nigga legends like Matt Dre, nigga. Dre didn't he went signed to a, a major. That nigga was straight independent, mm -hmm. rocking shows everywhere. That nigga had a loyal fan base. Nigga was selling like fifty thousand an album every time he dropped. You feel me? And Can't ask for anything more than that. You feel me? It don't get no better world, than man. that. You don't feel me? So to wrap it up, I mean, where you see yourself in the next? couple years but well, you say you're 24 so by the time you're like 30 where do you want to be at by the time i'm 30 i just want to uh i just want to be living comfortable you know what i'm saying like i said like if i end up just being an independent artist or if that nigga my buzz take me to the next level of being like a major artist you know what i'm saying i just want to be by the time i'm 30 i just want to get to know like i didn't i want to at least have like two dope ass albums under my belt that niggas know like that shit was classic it was good music you feel me and just be living comfortable and be in a position and put my homies in a position where they can make dope music you feel me and really take it to the next level so by the time i'm 30 that's where i want to be you feel me i want to be a, really in a position where i can make moves and make niggas nigga you know what i'm saying make niggas be the best they can be because i done done it you feel me that's where I want to be with it. Where can people find Smith Andrews? Um, you can go hit that graveyard called MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> MySpace.com slash Smith Andrews. I got the Smith Andrews dot And uh, niggas can follow me on Twitter. Twitter uh, dot Smith Andrews. So, yeah, that's where niggas can find me. Or, you know what I'm saying? You know, my brother, hit my brother page. He got the Just In Case music. I'm on, I'm on some shit with over there, you feel me? So, it's easy to find me. And the niggas hit YouTube, just put Rap Shack in there. I got a, a YouTube. Yeah. It's called Block Exit. You just put Block Exit in the search. You'll find some shit. I mean, that's what I mean. Coming from a little city, you know. I guess they think. Bankrupt supposed to keep us down. Twitter exclusive. Uh, I won't let it get the best of me. I'ma give it a hundred until it's death for me. Life is crazy, sometimes you gotta let it be.